hello everyone you're welcome to my youtube channel again this is david Glennis, and on this particular video i'm going to be showing you on how you can use the max tool effectively okay so i've been getting a request from a very good number of people on how they can use the max tool you can see like this person right here he asked me on the 12th of march on how you can actually use the max tool you can see it's right here but then this isn't the first person that will um message me based on these things right the messages i've been getting is how you can use the max tool how you can use the bz tool and also how you can use the perspective tool so i decided to send my virtual assistants to ask them in the youtube community and as you can see right here um as he asked he asked which of these tutorials would you love to be posted on youtube the mark uh, the bz to the max two and also the perspective two but turns out that a very good number of them were actually interested in every bit of the video tutorial okay so he went ahead to ask which of the tutorials they would like to have first is it for the bz two is it for the perspective two or the max two and as you can see majority of them goes for the max two so that is basically what i am going to be showing you first in this video tutorial on how you can use the max tool effectively there will also be a video on how you can use the bz tool how you can use the perspective tool but this particular video will be emphasizing on how you can actually use the max tool effectively so without further ado let's proceed to the video tutorial so as you can see right here i have my pixel lab okay so first of let me import one design real quick i want to show you the power of a max tool right so this is what you can you can see right here you can use the max tool to do a very good number of things like you can see this particular design right here the max tool was being used your design can actually be simple but the way you actually use um the max tool it can create a kind of illusion you understand look at how this image was like this flyer was being made in such a way that this um 20 period look at the, the kind of effect you understand the kind of effect that was being used here so i'm also going to be showing you how you can design this too something relating to this but before we start talking about how you can design this or how you can do this making use of the max tool we are going to start by how can you actually make use of the max tool how can you control it you understand so stick around to the end of this video carefully so that you are not going to go off track so i'm going to hide this design for now and delete this default text so i'm doing i'm going to change my background color and as you can see right here so yes right now i have a blank background but then if you are to use the max tool first of all, you only use the max tool on a design element either you use a text let's say for instance i brought in a text you can see it right here so let's say i type in any any anything right let's say a let's just say a then i increase the size to something big you can see that now let's go to you can see that is when the max is going to be visible the max tool okay that is when it is going to be visible look at it right here max so that is when it is going to be visible so stay with me carefully like i said now i'm going to be using the shape elements to explain how you can use the max tool carefully so what is the max tool the max tool works just like an eraser from the word mask you know when they say max to cover something mask to cover a particular maybe you, you, there is face marks that is you are covering the person's face right so that is exactly how it works it's very similar to using the eraser tool like you can see right here we have eraser on pixel lab and if you want to erase let's say i want to erase half of this i can easily use my free hand to erase i can easily use my free hand to erase or do something like this adjust this and then i'll just increase the size to max the part i want to max by doing this you can see i have easily erased it perfectly but then i can actually use the max tool the max tool work in it, it comes in handy when um you want to do something that you cannot use eraser for right for instance this is it right here this is the max tool just beside the eraser tool so if you should tap on it First of you need to enable right now you can see let me start explaining from this part which is the max mode you see this max this is this this place that has been erased the inside of this this node those parts that are inside right does max in the max in but then if you want to max out that is it is going to to secure um the part that is inside by clicking on out right here that means it's going to erase the outside part not the inside but then if you want to max in that is it will erase the inside part you click on max in in and out in and out so that's basically what that works for so before i start explaining this part right here let's talk about the bz mode like you can see this bz mode this is the bz tool it is called the not button you can see it has something like the antenna this is what you use to adjust like you use it to move each of the elements you use this to move each of the elements let's say i want to adjust okay this is where i want to erase let it be here then i use this antenna to increase you understand to increase it the way i want it to be you can see that right so i just tend to adjust it using all these keys that you are seeing right here so that is what the bz mode works for then we have the position mode which is this thing you are seeing right here the position that is if i want to move this let's say i want to move everything it's not like i want to adjust any node though. i'm moving everything at once you can see it right so that is what the move key works for you can see right so that is what all these ones works for so 
yes let's come back to this you can see this icon you are seeing right here this is when i want to add one new max mode let's say for instance i move this particular one downward then i still want to add another max mode i can easily tap on this plus you can see i have added a new one which i can tap on this move to move that new one you can see it right then i can now click on the busy mode this time around i will not be able to edit this down part i will not be able to edit it i will only be able to edit this up one based on the fact that i am the busy two the two the, the, the second busy mode you can see it's showing two but then if i want to go back to the first one i can tap on this arrow, arrow you are seeing right here so it will jump to this the, the first one and i can adjust the first one if i want to adjust the second one i tap on this arrow you are seeing right here to change this to two and i can easily tap on it to adjust you can see that right now we have the copy mode let's say for instance i want to copy this um second busy all i need to do is to click on this copy icon you are seeing right here this one after the two then i can copy the exact same then i can move it you can see it right so i would like you to actually implement this i would like you to implement this so that you'll be able to understand what i have explained so far so i believe you now understand how this works so I'll, this plus is to add new bezel mode and this minus is to remove you can see that's right i can use it to minus that is exactly how it works now we have the action we have the action you can see this part right here this this one you are saying cancel at the top you can use it to like cancel any um bezel mode let's say for instance i want to cancel this particular bezel mode all I need to do is to tap on this cancel icon. It's going to cancel it. You can see it's now remaining three. If I want to cancel another node, I can cancel. But the minimum node I can use is just two nodes. That is, I cannot cancel again after having two nodes because I need at least two nodes. So I have this one right here, which is to add. You, you can see that, right? It's adding new, new node. And I can use this to cancel. I can use this to this one to add and this to cancel. Now we have the scaling. Look at this. This is called the scaling, where you increase or reduce the size of your max mode. You can see that, right? So that is what this is used for. Then we have the rotation. This. To rotate. You understand? Just to rotate the max mode. I, okay, I want to rotate it this way. I want it to go this way or the other way around. That is what the rotating works for. All right? So I will click on the busy mode to move it right here. And I think, yes, that is what you should know about the max too. So, like I said, we are going to be designing this particular flyer right here making use of the max too but then i wouldn't want this particular video to be too long so this is first episode make sure you check out the second episode where we are going to be designing this particular flyer making use of this same max tool that i have shown you on how it works so this particular video has explained elaborately on how you can actually use the max tool how you can position and um, make use of it so stick around to the next video and then you will learn how to use the max tool to generate or use something like this so thank you for sticking around to the end of this particular video if it was helpful and you have learned something so far do all to give this video a thumbs up do all to comment and also subscribe if you are yet to subscribe to my youtube channel see you on the next one